करू इंतजार तेरा We just talk and make it up and go back to what we used to be. Yo, 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 peeps, how are you all getting on? This is your boy Popsy from Future Shock Studios, and welcome back to yet another video. And today we're going to be looking at the WA44. It's a studio a ribbon microphone by Warm Audio, and it's a faithful recreation of the most iconic studio ribbon microphone of all time. And I'm speaking on it right now, and this is what it sounds like on my voice. And we'll also be checking out the Warm Lifter, which is an inline active microphone preamp, also by Warm Audio. The Warm Lifter provides 26 dB of pristine, clean analog gain to low output ribbon and dynamic microphones, enhanced with tone shaping features. And the WA44 delivers on a robust bass with a notable proximity effect, with rich mid range frequencies and a smooth and controlled high end. And it excels with high volume audio sources, producing warm, vintage, and sultry tones that made its predecessor the preferred choice of microphone for iconic vocalists such as Elvis, Frank Sinatra, Johnny Cash and the list is pretty much endless and it comes echoing the legendary RCA 44BX ribbons of the 1930s and it certainly boasts superior build quality and vintage matched components faithfully capturing the iconic tones central to recording and broadcast history and in my personal opinion the WA44 just sounds awesome so with that being said let's go and roll the intro Welcome back. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. I bring you news about audio, video, and lighting gear each and every week. And don't forget to check the timestamps out to help you navigate throughout this video. All the audio in this video will be recorded using the WA44, which is currently going into my Apollo interface via the warm lifter. With 48 volts of phantom power engaged, my gain is set at 24 decibels, and I am recording in 24 bit 48 kilohertz. And my recorded voice will be L natural, meaning there's no EQ compression or any type of noise reduction having said that let's go and check out what comes in the box so the WA44 comes in this well packaged box. Upon opening the box, you'll find a great quality, heavily insulated storage and transport embroidered microphone case. Pulling the microphone out of its awesome quality embroidered microphone sock, you'll find the larger than life size WA44 Studio Ribbon Mic in all of its glory. Highly elegant and beautifully constructed, one must say. You'll also get a pre-installed 3.8 mic stand adapter. As for the documentation, you'll get a quick user guide displaying information about the best ways to use and take care of the mic so if you're interested in buying the wa44 for yourself it will set you back around 999 us dollars or 999 pounds in the uk and the warm lifter that i'm currently using hence the wires will set you back around 149 us dollars and 159 pounds and all prices correct at the time of filming this video and i'll drop the links in the description down below and it's also worth visiting their website warmaudio.com for more information about the WA44 and their entire lineup of amazing microphones and entire products. Moving on, let's go and check out the build quality and the features. So as far as the build quality goes, the WA44 has an all-metal construction from top to bottom, which possesses a robust, durable, solid build with a silver-black paint finish. And it comes tipping the scales at 6.2 pounds. Encased in a robust metal housing, the WA44 features a well-crafted 60mm ribbon manufactured in Japan from 99.1% pure aluminium, or some might call it aluminium. This ribbon, larger than those in most other 
designs is essential for delivering its lush, larger-than-life sound. And this sturdy build ensures it lasts long and withstands a real-world wear and tear. The main body is held by a yoke-styled mount. On the bottom, you'll find a removable 3.8 stand adapter and a pigtail XLR Gotham cable with star quad shielding. This cable's design and construction enhances top-end clarity and expands the stereo image by minimizing phase shift and parasitic effect commonly seen in lower quality cables. Dimension-wise, this mic is a 12.5 inches tall and a width of 4.75 inches with a depth of 2.7 inches. The WA44 features a custom American-made Cinemag output transformer, facilitating compatibility with modern mic preamps and offering protection against accidental phantom power use. While the design safeguards the delicate ribbon, avoiding phantom power is still recommended. The WA44, like other microphones, has a lower sensitivity compared to other dynamic and condenser mics, requiring at least 65 dB of amplification. While most quality outboard mic preamps provide sufficient gain, direct connection to an interface may not capture the mic's full tonal quality. To address this, Warm Audio offers the Warm Lifter, an inline active preamp that adds 26 dB of gain. It offers a cost-effective solution to achieving optimal performance without needing high-end outboard preamps. The WA44 specifications includes a figure of eight polar pattern and a frequency response range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz and a maximum SPL handling of 140 dB. Now the Warm Lifter, as I've already mentioned, delivers 26 dB of pristine, clean analog gain to low output ribbons and dynamic microphones. The Warm Lifter features a selectable 12 dB high pass filter switch on the left and a 2.5 dB high shelf boost on the right. And as a quick reminder, I've been using the WA44 via the Warm Lifter throughout this video and it truly sounds great. So as for the specs for the WA44, I'll link them up there for you now, should you wish to pause and check out for yourself. Okay, so usually you wouldn't really handhold this microphone. Okay, so this is a proximity test on the WA44 from the front, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so this is a proximity test on the rear of the WA44, and this is what the microphone sounds like, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is what the WA44 sounds like from the rear, and this is what the WA44 sounds 90 degrees to the left, and this is what the WA44 sounds like 90 degrees to the right and again this is what the WA44 sounds like from the front and this is a side view of the WA44 just to give you a bit of comparison on what it actually looks like in comparison to my head and I would highly recommend getting a very heavy duty tripod to place this microphone on. So now that you've seen the unboxing, the build quality and the features let's go on to the most important thing, testing. Something's gonna hold me lately I know I don't know myself anymore Feels that the walls are caving in And the devil knocking at my door Oh, oh, out of my mind How many times did I tell you I'm no good at being alone Yeah, it's taking a toll on me Trying my best to keep from tearing the skin off my bones Don't you know I lose control When you're not next to me It's breaking my heart, baby You make a mess of me Wednesday's words and 
muitos dias ouço o ser तिहारी मोरा मन तड़पाव सारी रे नींद नया तिहारी मोरा मन तड़पावे सारी रैना नींद नया बिर की मारी देखू राहत हारे दो नो के दीप जलाए जलू तेरे प्यार में करू इंतजार तेरा किसी से कहा जाए ना सावर तोरे बिन जिया जाए ना मंदी Can I keep you coming over in the deep end? Oh, 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 oh Can we just talk and take it back to the way it used to be? Can we just walk? Cause you're looking back but we know it's history You say you don't know But you need me here and I know this can't be real Can we just talk and make it up And go back to what we used to be? Oh And take it back to the way it used to be Oh, cause we're looking back but we know it's history Oh, cause I need you here and I know this can't be real Can we just talk and make it up And go back to what we used to be Please don't sing to me Cause it hurts me to hear 
the melody that was good to me before. Oh, my sweet, sweet song. You don't sound so sweet no more. Oh, you said love was forever, and you told me love would never break my heart, and I believed you as I fell.
damn, wouldn't you agree that the WA44 along with the warm lifter just sounded awesome on everything I threw at it. With that being said, let's go and wrap up this video with some final thoughts. All in all, since its arrival, I've thoroughly enjoyed using the WA44 Studio Riven mic. It's an extremely versatile mic with awesome sound quality. And for me personally, I love the full body sound it gives on vocals. Though if that deep bass and low end is too much for you, you can easily just EQ that out. Though some EQ on the top end will be needed to balance your desired sound in most cases. And in all the sound tests that we carried out from vocals, cellos, vocals, violins, saxophone, the tabla, this microphone just sounded awesome. So finally, would I recommend the WA44 to you? Absolutely yes, 100%. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you've got any questions, drop me a DM on my Instagram at Futureshock Studios. So anyway, peeps, that's all you're gonna get from me for today. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Smash it if that's your kind of thing. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you